The U.S. Army's fiscal year 2026 budget allocates $25 million to Project HX-3, aiming to push forward the Blackbeard Ground Launch GL, hypersonic missile system. This effort marks the transition into the hypersonics engineering and manufacturing development phase, focusing on completing software validation, conducting flight tests, and integrating the missiles all up round and canister, AUR plus C, with existing launch platforms like HIMARS. Cast Lion Corporation, the developer behind Blackbeard GL, employs multiple mobile launch vehicles to conduct parallel flight tests, increasing testing cadence and rapidly addressing technical challenges. This strategy accelerates performance data collection and system refinement. Designed to enhance the high-mobility artillery rocket system's capability, Blackbeard GL provides a faster, more affordable, and survivable precision strike against time-sensitive, mobile, or fortified targets. While not intended to replace the long-range hypersonic weapon, LRHW, it delivers roughly 80% of the capability expected from the forthcoming precision strike missile, PRSM, Increment 4. By integrating into modified launch pods and utilizing seeker-based terminal guidance, Blackbeard GL improves engagement in contested or degraded environments, filling a tactical niche between current missile increments. Cast Lion, a defense tech firm founded in 2022, is notable for its vertically integrated, iterative development approach. Supported by over $100 million in private investment and government contracts, the company's relatively small team enables agile production and rapid acquisition strategies, aligning with Army priorities for scalable hypersonic solutions to counter near-peer threats. Blackbeard GL is not only slated for HIMARS but also for the future Common Autonomous Multi-Domain Launcher, CML, highlighting its role across diverse platforms. CML itself is under development in heavy and medium variants, designed to offer crew-optional autonomous operations and compatibility with various munitions, including PRSM, PAC-3, Tomahawk, and Blackbeard GL. Demonstrations have validated autonomous navigation and resupply capabilities. Blackbeard GL's canisterized design and compatibility with MFOM pods allow seamless use on both legacy and emerging launchers, promoting flexible deployment and wider hypersonic fire distribution. By contrast, LRHW, Dark Eagle, is a strategic boost glide weapon with ranges over 2,700 km, optimized for deep strikes but limited by cost and logistical demands. Blackbeard GL, Trading some range and speed for survivability and affordability, targets more frequent tactical engagements where responsiveness and mobility are critical. Together, these systems embody a layered hypersonic strategy, LRHW for strategic deterrence and Blackbeard GL for dynamic battlefield support. Integration with the multiple family of munitions, MFOM, pods is pivotal, enabling Blackbeard GL to slot into existing launchers without hardware modification. This supports operational continuity and simplifies logistics, allowing commanders to select between munitions like GMLRS, ATICMS, PRSM, or Blackbeard GL based on mission requirements. Looking ahead, the program plans a fixed fin flight test using an air launched variant in early 2026, followed by prototype fabrication and a live fire ground launch demonstration by 2027. Initial operational deliveries are expected by 2028 positioning Blackbeard GL ahead of PRSM Increment 4 in deployment schedule and overlapping with LRHW and CAML developments. The Army's formal acquisition decisions and validated capability documents reinforce Blackbeard GL as a bridging capability that expands tactical hypersonic options with cost-effective, survivable precision fires, strengthening the U.S. Army's layered fires architecture for future conflicts. ChatGPT